called. They're coming to inspect. You gotta clean this whole place up. Aren't they supposed to give notice? Aren't I supposed to be married to George Clooney? Who's George Clooney? Exactly, girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> no breakfast till this place is spotless. Yes, Miss Hannigan. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. Sandy, wait! Stop! Why are you running? It gets me places quicker. Kids. The Heart of Annie, it's a story about hope, inspiration, optimism, and it's about finding a family. No matter, no matter where, where you think your family is, it's about finding a place in life. So this little girl, who's an 11-year-old girl all by herself with what seems like no money, no hope, no nothing, is always happy, always optimistic, and knows she's going to find a family. And this exuberance just wraps herself around the city and, and uplifts an entire city. And if you go see this movie, you can't help but feel that no matter how bad things you think things are, it's going to get better and it's going to be great. And that's why Annie endures. Will, this is really going to help your race for mayor. She's a foster kid from Harlem. I'm here on behalf of Will Stacks, and he would like to take Annie out for lunch. You can keep me as long as you want. <laughs> She's kidding. So what's the hustle? The more we're seen together, the better it is for my campaign. I bet if I moved in with you, you'd become president. You're not really thinking about doing this. Whoa. So this is what it's like living with a billionaire? The worst thing in the world you can get is a little taste of something good because it never lasts. And from then on out, the only thing that you can taste is not that taste. Huh? What were your impressions after you saw the film for the first time, Annie? I thought, right on, Will Gluck. Mm -hmm. You did it, man. You took the movie that I love and know so well, and you brought it to a modern time in the most elegant, beautiful way with, um, you know, just everything that you want in from the old movie and everything you need for it to be a modern tale. I thought he did a great job. Do something nice for Annie, not just for the press. You get us sick? I've never been in the air before. I threw up on the swings once. People just want to see Annie, and it's like, uh, and I think the updated version really helps the kid today. You know, they're talking about cell phones and talking about social media and, and things like that. So uh, it's just one of those things that, you know, it's always been around and, and I think it'll always be around. And I'm sure uh, many years in the future they'll do another one. This is a joyous occasion. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. We're going to be okay, Sandy. There'll be some. I think it's the most difficult genre to direct. It's really difficult because you have to play the balance between songs and real movie. Because every time you sing, you, you can't get lost in the real story. So you have to kind of, you have to walk that line. It's, it's hard. When did this city get so musical? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. Sometimes what you're looking for is right in front of your face. I don't like you in Harlem. Why would I like you on Facebook? You think you're better than me? I do think I'm better than you. <laughs>